Capricorn, this is Nikki. I hope that everybody is doing well. Listen, I came to bring you guys some energy, you guys. Marriage, okay? Higher connect, higher connection um, in the traditional sense of the word, okay? Higher commitment. That is the energy. That's the overall energy. Marriage, okay? Capricorn, Taurus, um, Virgo, energy here, okay? Um, listen, we got uh, the lovers here. Somebody is in love, okay? But we got something that somebody cannot see here, okay? And um, and we got some type of, you know, something else going on here too, okay? Listen, um, this hidden thing that I feel like somebody can't see is that somebody in this connection really does get bored very easily, okay? It's almost like they have attention deficit disorder at some points in times, okay? Um, or they're just feel, uh, somebody feels unfulfilled or not on the same page, possibly. Okay. A lot of understanding is needed at, at certain times, taking things, um, out on somebody, maybe, maybe hearing one another and compromising may have something to do with this. Okay. Um, but I do have wedding rings. So listen, this definitely is somebody definitely been discussing some type of marriage, some type of higher connection. There could be a wedding that is going on. Somebody could be getting married. Okay, just got married. Um, some type of eternal love. Um, some type of, um, you know, lasting promise. Okay. Listen, what it feels to me like is there is somebody in this energy who, um, like I said, you know, has a problem here with maybe considering somebody else's considerations listening um hearing things out okay maybe compromising okay maybe that that's what the moon here is is re representing something that somebody cannot see because i do have some you know hint of narcissism all right um maybe some type of gaslighting going on okay with this here higher connection um charmed or used okay somebody's boundaries okay somebody is like somebody's pushing somebody's boundaries okay there's an energy here of focusing on oneself okay this is can be self-work okay this can be um time to heal and shadow work and self-appreciation but this can also be selfishness too so y'all take what resonates okay listen i don't see any ending coming here what i see is is i see um some closure issues maybe perhaps but i do see um you know um somebody receiving what they need some type of progression okay arriving or moving on okay i see stability okay with this here palm tree um security growth endurance and flexibility somebody has to be very flexible in dealing with somebody here okay especially with this um you know with this here board card okay with this here feeling unfulfilled okay somebody had you know like i said some type of attention deficit disorder okay or maybe obsession compulsive disorder okay some type of you know just continuously harps on the same ass thing okay something to that degree taking taking somebody's anger out on somebody maybe that's not really fair okay uh, somebody kind of feels strung along here, okay, a little bit, maybe. Somebody definitely does have options here, many options, okay? And their style is unconventional. You know, in love is an unconventional style, okay? And that could be in love and in sex, all right? But look, we have the lovers and we got the moon, okay? This is going to change somebody's life. That's why I feel like it definitely is a marriage here. Somebody is going to get proposal. Um, somebody has accepted a proposal, um, higher connection or something to that, okay? I'm going to throw some words at you guys. Catch what resonates, leave what don't. Unity, morals, love, choices, soulmates, okay, kindred spirits, partnership, strong bond, you guys. One or none of those words. Illusions, secrets, deception, insecurity, misconception, fears, hidden information. One or none of those words, you guys. Balance, finding balance, juggling, adaptability, profit, loss, financial stress, flexibility. One or none of those words, y'all, okay? So this is what we're dealing with. But we're definitely dealing with somebody who wants to be married. And, you know, somebody very spiritual, too. This is, spirit, you know, higher than spirituality as well, okay? In the traditional sense of the word, okay? So, um, you know, somebody could be very involved in church here. Somebody could be very involved in their religion, um, somebody could be very spiritual here, okay? Or somebody is ascending spiritually here as well, okay? It could be one 
or none of those things, you guys. Okay, let me see something. Some type of collaboration, some type of network, some type of unity. Yeah, remember I told you that somebody is like take their problems out on somebody here. This is domination, okay? Reluctance. I'm just pulling from my other deck, you guys. But somebody's honest and trustworthy. Somebody has an alliance with somebody. What it feels more like is that somebody is in love with a high head here, okay, who sometimes um, goes off on their, their tangents, all right? And, you know, their understanding is very low, okay, um, when they go off on this here tangent, okay? Um, they have a very hard time hearing somebody out, okay, and have a hard time uh, comprom compromising. It may take their issues out on somebody else here, okay? They do definitely have some type of OCD or, you know, attention deficit disorder, okay? Um, maybe they're bored at some times or they're boring at some times, okay? But nonetheless, insatiable, kind of, sort of, just unfulfilled, okay? Like, what do I have to do to please you type, you know, type of energy, okay? Maybe not on the same page. But there's love, okay? You know, there's love. There's a tinge of narcissisticness, too, okay? So it could be some gaslighting going on, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But before we shuffle and before we get into this energy, you guys, I want to thank my day ones, my uh, new and recent subscribers. You guys, thank you so much for supporting the channel in the way that you guys have. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Much love. Love you, Capricorn. Um, listen, if you haven't uh, this, uh, subscribed, please um, accept my invitation to subscribe. There are a lot of senses going on. There are three different ways to get a free read once a month, okay? Only thing you have to do is be a verified subscriber and comment below, okay? You guys will find out all the information you need. I updated the description box. Go on the description box under number two and three, and you guys will see the giveaways, and you guys will see the chance to uh, win free reads and also be able to donate to the channel as well monetarily, okay, and the benefits that uh, that comes with, all right? So um, for every 100 new subscribers, somebody will get a free read, and there are monthly giveaways, okay? All of that is in the description box, you guys. So let's go ahead, clarify this energy, okay, because marriage is on the table, okay? It's just that simple, Capricorn. My lady. Somebody a little cray cray. Love you. Or vice versa, okay? Cross watch your energy can and will get involved, you guys. Um, so be mindful of that. Cross watcher. If you guys just want to hang out and watch Capricorn, that's fine with me. Okay. Um, but I do other nine or I do uh, nine other signs and um also men's tarot. So, you know, you may find yourself there as well, okay? So, um, Holy Spirit. Just something to know. Hey, look, sometimes there's some friction here, okay? I'm talking about tr uh, trouble shuffling these cards. Give me spirituality. Why'd you have to pull this? Why'd you have to pull the higher thing? Yeah, because there's give in this relationship. Somebody's given in this relationship. Somebody has cared for this relationship. Somebody has nurtured this relationship. Somebody was kind. Somebody was supportive to somebody in need, okay? Somebody was very charitable here, okay? Or they have a, that side about them, okay? This relationship or this new connect, this relationship or this um, idea to take it to the next level happened very quickly, okay? With this Eight of Wands, you guys communicated this uh, with each other. Um, you guys have talked about this with each other. This happened quick, okay? This communication went on quick, okay? It gained traction quick, okay? Now, is it going to keep the traction? Holy Spirit, um, tell me about this girl with a snake, okay? This narcissistic side here. Yeah, okay, listen, we got somebody here that's deceptive, all right? That's why you got the narcissistic side. There is somebody that here that wears a mask, okay? So maybe they put on, not put on, maybe they really do have a really good side here with this six of coins, okay? They are giving a loving, a nurturing side, a charitable side, a kind side. But you got another side here that is, you know, just, you know, it's an ugly ass side, okay? And it can go, the, the rabbit hole go deep, y'all. It, it could just be that they nut up, okay? Or they're flat out abusive. They lie, steal, kill, chill, ch cheat, manipulate. Some old stuff. Somebody definitely has legal problems here with this situation. Tell me about the wedding rings. Very goal oriented. Overbearing, maybe, okay? 
listen somebody wants this all right this this marriage this eternal love okay um but they're very controlling like i said i have domination here all right yeah see i have domination here so somebody is controlling okay when it comes down to this love all right Tell me about this understanding, this lack of understanding. Somebody, you know, not really trying to understand much when they in a certain type of mood. Okay, I got a Virgo towards Capricorn here. I was what are they doing? They say, you know, they into their money. Yeah, listen, they got a lot of temptations, okay? Listen, you, them, they got temptations, okay? A lot of stuff goes on in their mind, okay? We're clarifying understanding here. We're taking things out on somebody, hearing one another out, and compromising, okay? So this is the, the context of this definition, all right? So we got Taurus, uh, Capricorn, a Virgo here, okay? Who, you know, when their mind, you know, gets to spinning out of control, or when they're overwhelmed and when they're pissed off, or when they're tempted, okay? They don't have any understanding, okay, for um for something that they probably should have understanding. So a lot of this stuff, the, the issues and stuff that comes up in this relationship really doesn't have to be, all right? Just got something to do with control, okay, and, and, and a lack of understanding. Giving this lovers, Holy Spirit. It's the burden to somebody, okay? This is a heavy burden. Somebody wants to put this burden down, okay? Somebody doesn't want this to be a burden, okay? Somebody un has unaccepted responsibility. Somebody does not accept all this responsibility, okay? It's a burden. With this unity, this morals, this love, soulmate choices, um, kindred spirit partnerships, strong bond, there's something there. Something's going on there, okay? That is a burden for someone. Damn, you got the five of coins. This is misfortune and loss, okay? So, I mean, what's up with the marriage all and the proposal, okay? Misfortune and loss. Or maybe recovering stability. Maybe y'all were bouncing back, okay? Give me more. Or maybe just all move, move too fast. Somebody had a choice to make here. This is either being able to make a choice or reluctant to make a choice. Tell me about the moon. Tell me about these secrets. Somebody's yearning somebody. Somebody's confident and ambitious. All right. Somebody hot-headed here. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay. Energy. Got something to do with this secrets and this deception. This could be somebody's ex that's holding tight. Taurus is here. And somebody's in a nine of swords. Okay, so somebody is reliving, reliving past trauma. Somebody's in despair. Communication is not very good. Something is hidden from somebody. There's some type of deception or misconception going on, okay? Some type of hidden information, okay, with this here moon card. Pisces could be involved here. Leo, I'm excuse, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries could be involved here. Tori, Taurus or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be involved here, okay? But there is somebody that is not talking. Somebody is not keep. somebody's keeping something for somebody. And somebody knows this. And communication is not where it's supposed to be. It's shut down, y'all. Somebody may be blocked for real, okay? Yeah, but see, somebody, somebody wants somebody here, okay? Somebody wants somebody here. And uh, somebody has been withstanding a lot of adversity. Somebody has really been, like I said, really um, trying their very hardest to, you know, make this situation go, okay? But you got the Wheel of Fortune here, okay? So, look, this might be why, you know, maybe this is what you guys been through and now you've come to this point. Because somebody definitely did withstand adversity. So, there was something that happened that changed. Taurus, Aries, older person. Yeah, receiving some type of fruits or some type of labor. Somebody made a change. Somebody's from a distance or not from where somebody's from. New beginning, excitement, and love. Okay. So, listen, you guys got a history is what it is. All right? You guys got a history. Somebody had to travel back and forth to see somebody. Somebody may have different backgrounds. You know, um, yes, it was a whole bunch of hidden secrets and deceit. And then it still may be. Okay? But nonetheless, somebody decided to indulge anyway, okay? And this is the reason why the higher thing came out. This is the reason why your relationship is going to the another, another level, all right? 
give me give me this two of pentacles yeah somebody very um persevering willpower drive succeed listen we got the moon still here okay so we got an energy of somebody who just they like to keep secrets okay it's that simple somebody has accepted this all right sagittarius cancer pisces scorpio somebody's accepted this because they love them all right it's either a cancer pisces scorpio involved or just that they love them all right one of the secrets is they buck wild they could be very promiscuous okay i do got the Knight of wands here all right but nonetheless they do want a team they want commitment yeah, they, they want to work together. They want to collab. It makes them happy, okay? So you just got a person who's just very into their element, all right? You got a person who don't back down. They bullheaded. Um, they a hothead. Um, you know, they understand what they want to understand when they get ready to understand it. And when they don't want to understand it, they don't, okay? It's just that simple. It don't mean that they don't love you, but they is hiding something or you are one or the other, you know, but, you know, you guys have a history here, but there is no excitement in love. Somebody could be pregnant. Somebody could be just had a baby as well, okay? So, you know, this is what you're dealing with, you guys. <laughs> this is what I have for you, Capricorn. <laughs> I love you guys. And um, you guys like, share, and subscribe.